after quite a few examples of governments who have, how can one put this politely, massaged, or one could say spun figures over the last few decades, it is always, of course, worth looking at the methodology. It's not that the figures are wrong, maybe everyone else has been understating the case, but they certainly were different today. David Cameron's figures today certainly were different. They came from Department for Work and Pensions data from 2013. The government said that around 40% of all EU migrants, more than 220,000 people, were receiving some kind of benefits, either for themselves or their dependents. 66% of those EU claimants, around 150,000 people, were on in-work benefits, such as tax credits, claiming an average of £6,000 a year per family. All up, the government said, in-work benefits for EU migrants cost the UK taxpayer £570 million in 2013. In short, a lot higher than most other studies seem to suggest. So why is that? The DWP statistics from today include children as people receiving benefits if they live in a household where benefits are being claimed. And the other one is that uh, it excludes people who are here as students uh, who tend to have relatively low rates of claiming benefits. The DWP's figures are a big departure from other research. For example, according to the Migration Observatory at Oxford University, in 2013, less than 5% of working age EU migrants claimed job seekers allowance and less than 10% claimed other benefits. And in the first quarter of last year, they say only 14% of EU migrants were claiming tax credits, not much higher than those who were born in the UK. And it seems that what they contribute to the economy appears to outweigh what they claim. Immigrants who came from EU countries and who moved to the UK after 2000 uh, have been paying in far more in terms of uh, taxes than what they took out in terms of benefits. So they paid their way, they even overpaid their way into the welfare system. And on the overall impact on the public purse, it is worth noting that according to the official independent budget watchdog, the OBR, without the economic contribution of migrants, government debt would be 78% higher by 2062. In short, it's a complex picture, but the government certainly seems to be taking the view that when it comes to immigration, enough is enough.